Okay, final question. Last few minutes to get this done. Uh, the diagram shows this curve crosses these two points. The shaded region is bounded by the curve and the line PQ. Show that the x coordinate of Q is ln3. Well, Q looks to me to be the minimum point on that curve. So our first thing is if y is e to the 2x minus 18x plus 15, we're going to differentiate this to get 2e to the 2x minus 18 when do over dx equals 0, 2e to the 2x minus 18, 0, e to the 2x equals 9. Natural log, so 2x is ln 9x is a half ln 9, which is ln 9 to the half. So x is natural log of 3. And uh, there we go. Oh, three marks in the back. Uh, final bit, find the exact area of the shaded region. Right, we need to do a uh, trapezium. Take away the integral of that bit. So we need to, we need to know some stuff, don't we? Um, let's think about the point P. X is 0. Y is, well, that's the point where it meets the axis, so that's e to the 0 minus 18 times 0 plus 15. That looks to me like 16. So P is the point 0, 16. Q. Q is the point where X is ln3. We've been given that. And Y is e to the 2 ln3 minus 18 ln3 plus 15. Well, e to the 2 ln3, in case we had any doubt at all, I'll show you, is going to be 9. There we go, it's 9. Um, we've got a plus 15, which is uh, often 24, minus 18 ln3. So that's that coordinate. OK, I think we're just about there. Area of the trapezium is a half times the base, and that distance is ln3. That height we've established is 16. That height is 24 minus 18 ln3. So it's a half times the sum of the parallel sides. Times the distance between them. So we've got a half ln3 times 40 minus 18 ln3. There's our trapezium. Area under curve. Is the integral from 0 to ln3 of e to the 2x minus 18x plus 15. Which is e to the 2x would go to a half e to the 2x, minus 18x squared over 2, so 9x squared plus 15x, between 0 and ln3, which is 1 half e to the ln, 2 ln3, so ln9, minus 9 times natural log of 3 squared, plus 15 ln3. Take away, if we put 0 into that, we don't just get 0, do we? We get e to the 0, so a half e to the 0 is a half, because that's a half times one, that would be zero, the rest of it would be zero. So what have we got there? We've got, um, that's nine, so that's nine over two. Take away a half is eight over two, so four, minus nine ln three squared plus 15 ln three. Notice ln three all squared isn't the same as ln three squared. Okay, really careful about that. So, therefore, the shaded area is our trapezium that we found. A half ln3, 40 minus 18 ln3. Take away our area under the curve, 4 minus 9 ln3 squared plus 15 ln3. Right. Um, whew, giving us, we have 
20 ln3 minus 15 ln3. So I think we end up with a 5 ln3 there. We have minus 9 ln3 squared minus minus 9 ln3 squared. So the ln3 squareds go completely and we have a minus 4 from there and that is our area and that's maths.